Hey guys, Joelster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And this time I'm so excited to show you this because this is my very first time ever testing a 4K HDR ultra short throw laser projector. That's right. So this is what this is right now. This is an ultra short throw. That means that you can have it just a few inches away from, uh, from your wall or from your screen projector and project up to 150 inch of beautiful image also this is a 4k with hdr so all you your hdr content it's uh it's going to show up beautiful i have connected this with my xbox one x i tested some gaming i've tested some movies i also have my amazon 4k hdr fire stick connected in the back so i'm going to talk about all this my experience so far you know pricing gaming movie pictures uh smart settings because this is also a smart projector it runs with android so if you're interested in something like this welcome to the channel i hope you enjoyed the video and let's do this all right before i continue i wanted to show you how this projector looks during some daylight with some daylight coming in so i'm right here in my living room and i have my curtains turned you know closed everything is closed this is the only window this is the door and the only window that i have that has some daylight coming in and i mean it's not bad for a projector i can still see the colors very well i can distinguish everything in the picture but of course this is meant to be in a dark room you know projectors are always suggested to have a dark room designated for your projector but with 6,000 lumens, I think it's, it's doing a very good job. Although I do prefer to have this on a dark room. All right, guys. So here I have the projector already connected with my Xbox One X. And I also have the uh, Amazon Fire Stick connected. That's the 4K with HDR. So I'm going to show you both of those in just a second. But this projector has three HDMI ports and all of them support uh, 2.0. So they're the HDMI 2.0. So that's good if you want to, you know, use HDR content, maybe some movies, maybe some uh, streaming or gaming. That's what the HDMI 2.0 is for. One of the HDMI ports does support ARC. That's for the audio return channel. That's just in case if you want to connect your home theater or maybe a sound bar, you can use that as well and but i'm also surprised how how the this sound this one has the speakers already built in the projector they are by uh, harman kardon and they actually sound very very good i'm not saying that it's like the best but there's some probably the best speakers that i've heard compared to other projectors that i have reviewed in the past so i'm surprised how good they how good they sound and i'm glad that they included that one uh, also, you have the option for optical cable, just in case if your soundbar doesn't have HDMI, you can use optical or you can also use Bluetooth. You can connect this via Bluetooth. So you have those options for audio. I'm happy about that. You can also connect this one to your LAN if you want to connect uh, the internet via cable. You can do that or you can use Wi-Fi. So you have really, really good options for the projector. It's a smart projector. So, and also it runs with Android. So let me just show you real quick the menu. So this is the menu. This is very basic, it's very simple. I'm surprised how easy and simple this is to use. You, know, you can choose right here the ports, HDMI one, two, or three. You can also go right here and then just choose it or the audio and video port. And you also can access to the app store just in case if you want to download some uh, applications. I think this is by Aptoid TV, yes. I don't know, I never heard of that one before, but you have plenty of options right here, guys. There's also some games you can download. I don't know, but uh, if you want to do that, you can do that. File manager, you have some in internal storage, or you can also uh, use your external storage just in case if you have some movies. So if you want to display some pictures, you can also use the multi-screen. Maybe you want to you connect with your phone. You do need to download an application for this. So I'm not very interested about that, but you have that option. 
you know so over here let's go into the settings real quick because i know some of you guys want to see some of these settings so you can obviously choose the network that you want to connect the source this is to change different source hdmi ports also the display so over here in the display you have options you have for example you have the brightness mode i have it on high you have the standard or high so i have it on high because i want to have the brightest image but um, you can have that option as well image parameters so over here you can change to a standard right uh this is like some pre pre-installed picture settings so this is standard this is the theater this is colorful and this is sport and then you can also customize your own so that's great that you have that, those options right there so keystone correction you can adjust this just in case if your image is, is, is not straight you can adjust this so everything is now digital it does it doesn't have any dials or anything like that so everything is done digital it's super easy to use uh, to me, it's actually easier if I just move the projector a little bit and it will just super fast, but uh, it's you have that option too. So over here, you have the electronic power focus. Let's go into this one. This one pretty much you just move it left or right in the, with the controller and it's uh, to focus the image. So it's super easy. It's already focused, so I don't need to move anymore, but you have those options right there. Let's go back the sound over here so you have the sound buttons on if you want to do that the audio effect i have it in theater you have options like news standard or th oh actually you only have three options all right so uh, the audio output i have it on speaker because like i said the speakers on this projectors is they're very good i like them and but you have the option for headphones or the hdmi arc this is where you turn on your hdmi arc raw pcm you have those options or spdif or just the speakers for right now i'm just going to use the speakers that's what i want to use over here we have others what is this oh boot tutorial okay so uh oh you also have the uh, option to connect your soundbar via bluetooth or maybe you want to use some headphones you have those options in general right here you have that version what you have so system version is the v1.11 you can go here and update check for updates this says your system is up to date there are no updates available for the moment please stand by or you can do that via usb as well this is the name of the projector so the company is called bava and what happens is that bava contacted me and say jolster we like your videos we like we like what you have done with your channel we would like you to send you this projector so you can test it review it uh play around with it and share your experience with your subscribers so that's what i'm doing right now guys just keep in mind that this is not my final review this is just my experience my first hands-on experience with this projector like i said at the beginning of the video this is my first time testing one of this beautiful laser projectors and i'm excited and i just want to share this with you guys all right so motion detection that i have this one turned off because what happens is that if you turn on if you step close to the projector especially close to the laser it'll shut down the screen it'll turn like uh will shut down pretty much that's good because the laser is super bright if you look at it it'll it don't might hurt you know it might hit hurt your eyes so i i have it are you sure yeah there you go okay so after sharing of the infrared human body detection, it's turning the projector lens for long thing can cause damage in the human eye. Yeah, so you you don't want to uh, you don't want to stare at the laser. Trust me, it's going to damage your eyes. So that's it. Okay, so let me show you guys. Let's go into the HDMI two point number two. That's where my Xbox is connected. So when you access this, then you press the settings on the on the controller. You press and hold the button, the button, and then you get access to the same settings, but it's just like a shortcut. So over here, the same thing. We have the parameter uh, customize. We, let's move. Let's do. Uh, let's do standard for right now. All right. So let's go back, and then you get access to the brightness, HD, HDMI CEC. That's just in case if you want to control other devices. That's the consumer electronics control, something like that. So HDMI 2.0, make sure you, this one is turned on so that way you can 
get all the uh, HDR. And the trapezoid correction, this is pretty much, you know, um, the keystone correction. All right, where we went, what the hell? We already went through all that stuff, but I just wanted to show you where you uh, turn on HDR. So this is where you go pretty much. All right, so make sure you do that. Once you go in here, press and hold the settings button on the controller and you get access to that. By the way, the controller is really cool. It feels solid. It feels good in the hand. And also you don't have to like uh, point the controller to the projector. This is Bluetooth controller. So you can pretty much point it anywhere you want and it'll respond super quick. There's no delay or anything. I like this, this controller. So I'm happy with this. So let's just go into the settings with the Xbox guys. I know some of you guys want to use this for gaming and I will talk about the gaming. There's some important things that I want to show you here too. So 4K, there's the resolution. This is a native 4K projector. You can also change this to 1080p or 720p. Over here, video modes. So we have uh, 50 Hertz. We have 24 Hertz. We don't have auto low latency, neither uh, variable refresh rate. We do have 3D option, uh, uh, YCC422, 4K and HDR. So about the 3D option, this is 3D. This is something that I really like about projectors because 3D, uh, it looks super, super cool when you're watching 3D movie on a big screen like this. You know, I do have other projectors that also support 3D. The problem with this right now is that I have a pre-production unit, so the 3D doesn't really work correctly, but my Xbox does uh, detect 3D support from this unit. So I contact Baba and they told me that they're going to, I'm going to receive an update via firmware in the, maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe when this is released. Uh, this is going to be released starting in May so i'm not i'm not sure when i'm releasing this video so i'm just saying check out the uh, description of this video that i'm doing right now i will leave a link so you can check out their website order the unit and and i'm pretty sure that they will have 3d already but just in case if you're wondering about 3d this will support 3d and i am so happy about that because i have 3d movies 3d glasses and i can't wait to play the avengers uh end game on 3d with this one hopefully they make that movie in 3d all right guys so let's get down to business let's check out some gaming let's play some call of duty yeah let's do this all right guys so let's start with this game i'm playing blackout i'm so excited because look at this image this is 4k hdr and it looks fantastic oh my goodness i feel like i'm i'm inside the game 150 inch it's a pretty big display trust me all right let's see if i get lucky i'm also gonna test the uh input lag of course this is very important this game is very demanding. Also, you see that rainbow effect? Trust me, you don't see that in person. That's from the camera, okay? I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, but I see the rainbow effect. Like, that's from the camera. So calm down. You're not going to see that when uh, playing this with this projector. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Poor guy. I feel bad. <laughs> no, not really. All right, guys. So let me tell you. So far, for gaming, this monitor is not recommended. I'll tell you what right now. I do feel input like. You know, it feels slow. It doesn't feel as responsive as when I play with my Samsung TV or maybe a monitor. Definitely does have an input lag. So that means that it has over at least 80 milliseconds or more in input lag. So for gaming this monitor, this projector, I I would not suggest for you to game on this in a demanding game like this. You know, Call of Duty, fast paced games. I wouldn't suggest it because I do feel the input lag. You have to adjust yourself, but with time, I feel like I'm going to start to get a headache. You know, so. Yeah, I just, 
I just feel that right now it's right away. It's very noticeable. Usually we don't feel input lag after, you know, before 40, 45 milliseconds. We don't feel it. But anything higher than that, you do feel it. So I wouldn't recommend this. So let's change to um, let's change to a movie because this is what you want this for, right? You want a movie theater experience. Oh my goodness. Even so, I mean, with input lag, I'm still able to kill. <laughs> I'm surprised. Well, no, I'm just that good. All right, let's get into a movie, guys. All right, guys, so movies on this projector, of course, they look magnificent. Look at this display right now. I'm running uh, this movie in through Voodoo, through my Xbox One X. So that means that this support HDCP 2.2 where you can play 4k movies with hdr as well and let me tell you contrast contrast is also very important so that's why i'm showing this dark scene there uh, this is the scene at night so you guys can see how it looks with uh the, the how the black levels look on this uh projector and it's just like beautiful if you have a better screen it obviously is going to look better but i am just surprised and very happy with this right now all right guys so obviously movies and 4k is going to look stunning with this projector especially because of the size and also the image it looks so sharp even if you get close the image looks very very sharp and like i said before if you have a projector screen it's probably going to look better i'm happy with how it is right now uh, but let me tell you guys i'm so surprised how beautiful this laser looks right here on my wall this is 150 inch size obviously you can reduce this if you want to you can have it just right uh, about eight and a half inches to have this beautiful display or you can have it even closer you can go from 55 75 80 100 120 inch it just depends on you know the size of your wall or maybe the size of your projector screen what else can I tell you? Uh, if you want to order this, make sure you check out the description of the video. I'm going to leave a link right there. I think the price is going to start at $3,500. Check out the description just to update on the pricing. There's going to be some uh, better deals if you pre-order this right now and support the Indiegogo. Uh, I think it's $2,500 if you support it early, you know, like an early buyer if you pre-ordered this so that's good that's about a thousand dollars in savings otherwise this is thirty thirty five hundred dollars which is not bad for what you're getting i mean honestly if you're going to buy a tv that is a hundred inch size you're probably going to end up paying over eight thousand dollars ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars that's not the case with this one you know this is three thousand five hundred dollars so i think it's a really good deal for what you're getting all right, so like I said earlier, guys, this is not my review just yet. This is just a first look at this projector. So I will have my review later on down the road, maybe in a couple of months. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That way I can show you guys uh, if you have uh, something, a special request for me to show you or, or want to find out about this projector. Uh, let me know in the comments below. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.